Well, every night, every Wednesday night, for more than a dozen years, we've brought you heartwarming stories about deserving Oklahomans as part of our Pay It Forward series. But tonight, a Pay It Forward first. For the first time, we are presenting a Pay It Forward award in memory of a very special young woman who passed away last month. News 4's Heather Holman surprised that young lady's parents with the award and shows us the lifelong impact the young woman made on so many. The main organ that it affects is your lungs. Three years ago, News 4 introduced you to Kaylin Thompson, a beautiful young woman with a beautiful heart. But her lungs were riddled with cystic fibrosis from birth, leading to two double lung transplants, the last in 2016. It has given me almost five years extra with my family and friends, um, counting both transplants. They ended up giving her eight extra years of life until early September. Kaylin was a champion at advocating for organ donation and also volunteering, specifically with the Sparrow Project. Hi. Hi. A nonprofit group for young adults with intellectual disabilities. We're shredding. We shred on Wednesdays. You shred on Wednesdays? Yep. What do you think of shredding? It's good. Is it fun? Yeah. In fact, shredding papers for more public schools twice a month is one of their favorite events. It's very satisfying. So I can hang out with my friends. They absolutely love this. They come in, they get to work, and it's like a job to them. Allison Ritchie started the Sparrow Project five years ago after her daughter Casey graduated from high school. They go from being very, very busy to nothing. We do fitness once a month with a great fitness instructor. We have music classes twice a week, twice a month. Um, arts and crafts. Arts and crafts, Kaylin's favorite. Her selfless volunteering earned Kaylin our first ever pay it forward in memoriam from First Fidelity Bank's Anna Guerrero. Because of her acts of kindness on behalf of First Fidelity Bank, we are beyond excited to present you with $400 to pay it forward in memory of Kaylin. Okay, there's one, two, three, and four. Thank you so very much. Thank we appreciate you. it. Allison asked Kaylin's parents to attend the event in her honor. Chris and Kim Thompson thought we were there for a news story on the Sparrow Project, never expecting this. So we're here to do the news story, but we're also here for another reason. We're here because Allison contacted us about Kaylin. And so she has something special for you in Kaylin's memory. Oh, thank you. Because Kaylin meant so much to so many. We want you guys to know we love you, we love her, and she'll live on through Sparrow with her craft ideas, if nothing else. So um, you guys are the most generous people I've ever come across, and we want to do something for you. Um, on behalf of First Fidelity, News Channel 4, and the Sparrow Project, we want to give you $400. Um. No. Yes, no, we want you guys to keep it for the <laughs> No, you guys keep it for the sparrows. Really, no, we would like to you keep it for them. She will always be in our hearts. It's uh, hard for the last eight and a half years. I was her full-time caregiver. She was a daddy's girl, and he, he, he's a retired firefighter for Oklahoma City, and he was her main caregiver. Um, any IV she needed at home or any meds, you know, he always, he, that, was, that was his role. Yeah, we lost our daughter and my best friend, so. <laughs> we did. It's okay, she's looking down on us now. Sorry. She loved these kids, she did. Um, you know, she really, she did. She liked volunteering. She wanted to be a, a teacher with, for kids with special needs, and um, she was just a good person. And she they're really not just was. kids. They're a lot Adult. of the same. They're her age, <laughs> actually, yes. So. Yes, it's his birthday today, and he's her age. Kevin turned 29 on this day, the same age as Kaylin. She passed away on September the 7th. And then five days later, she would have been 30. She really just wanted to make it to 30, and she was close. We celebrated her 30th birthday for her, anyhow. 30. Her funeral was more of a party, just as Kaylin wanted it. In lieu of flowers, donations were sent to the Sparrow Project, and the Sparrows drew these pictures for her service for the volunteer who now has a pair of wings herself. We love you, you raised guys. a great girl. Oh, she was good. <laughs> she was good. Heather Holman, Oklahoma's News 4. What a legacy she left, and those are some strong parents, too.
If you would like more information about the Sparrow Project or to volunteer, as Kaylin did, check for a link in this story on our website, KFOR.com. And while you're there, you can also send in your own nomination to pay it forward.